Acá te ves bien, güey. La televisión, güey. <laughs> it looks good, yeah, man. It looks good. Well, I was gonna, it, it was gonna ask what the feel was. Obviously, a big moment in your career. It seems like you're relaxed, you're having fun. But I mean, what is the emotion like right now ahead of your debut? Que si que sientes ahorita que te sientes bien, relajado, que las emociones que te está pasando ahorita en tu cabeza. Yeah, I have it too much. Uh, I'm too happy. Uh, my family happy is. Uh, uh, I feel a lot of. La, what's the name? Um, como que, que me te apoyan. Yeah, support. a lot of support. Support from his family, from everybody in Dominican. Support. Very nice. Um, I, I wonder the comfort level, being here in the Apex, does that make it more comfortable than maybe if you were somewhere else to make this debut because you've been here before? Pues, ¿Cómo te sientes de pelear aquí de vuelta, donde peleaste y ganaste, o de pelear en otro lado? I feel, I feel good. Uh, Anywhere, any located with me fight, I'm, I'm feel good because it's, I'm ready for fight. Any, any located, and the bar on the water and everything. <laughs> uh, less than three months since earning the contracts. I'm just curious, kind of, what the focus has been. Did anything change in your training or your approach uh, between your last fight and this one? Dice que fue lo que hiciste diferente entre esos tres meses de la última pelea ahora. I'm focused more my, my wrestling, my jiu jitsu. My Muay Thai, and the and the put it more uh, strong my right hands for, you nice. know. Uh, Jared as an opponent, uh, I guess. What did you think about him when this was the name given, and, and what do you think of him as a fighter? Que si que crees del oponente que tienes ahora, que si que crees de él de peleador y oponente. I feel that great man, and uh, they're still here for something, you know. And and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready for the knock him out. This is just happening. I was going to say, I mean, do you, I guess, have the goal? I mean, is it more about just getting a win any way necessary, or do you want to come in and make some kind of highlight reel knockout? Everything is going to be cabrón, means chingón, it's going to be some highlight. That's what you're looking for. That's what it means. I like it. And I guess, last thing for me, I mean, ideally, how do you see your career path going? Because you're still very early in your MMA career, but in the heavyweight division, you can make quick steps. So do you want to, you know, go quickly through the rankings, or is it kind of a step-by-step -step process? Yes, I think you have experience, you have fought, and everything, but you're still a baby, you understand? If you want to do it, you know that the heavy weight, three or four fights, and you're going to take the top rankings, or you want to take the most calm. Oh, I I want to go go high fast, uh, you know, because I have a 31 years old, and the, my family is there, a younger family. I need to be got a good position for my family and like right that. Look, making a statement, going to the top. And just one for me. And you're making your debut, but you're also making your debut three fights from the top of the card. What does that say to your fight style and maybe the expectations of what the UFC is putting on you to put you so high on the card? Así que crees que, o sea, tu primer pelea realmente en la UFC, pero te está poniendo en el hasta arriba del main card y abajito la o estelar. ¿Cuáles son las expectaciones que tú crees UFC tiene de ti? Uh, I'm feel the the UFC wanted the the me good to go for the for the big levels and the I'm here for the make it up. And the USC need to see me. They watch me do a Saturday for the, we got have a good guy here for the match for the heavyweight in the top. For the contender, for the belt, that's what it means. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you. Well, Thank you, everybody. Over here, Waldo. Uh, yeah, I'm going to say it in, in English and then in Spanish. Uh, they, they called you just right after you won your contract in, in Contender Series. They called you to see if you were able to fight like in a couple uh, of days. So what did Mick tell you? ¿Qué te dijo Mick porque te llamó después de que tuviste la pena en el Contender? Te querían ver ya debutar luego luego. ¿Qué te dijo ese día, Mick? Diez días, ¿te acuerdas? Uh, yeah, uh, um, after my fight, the Contender, supposed to have fight ten days later, because my opponent is no. 
it's not be available because I have a five week before I have a KO. Whereas uh, I I'm be ready every time that every any time for the any fight they have it. Sí, sí, así es. <laughs> you're saying it because it's funny. You say, I don't care who it is, what time, any time, any day. I go after it. Yeah, I don't care what guy is it. I fight anywhere. I, I'm good to go. That's what Mick Maynard tells us. I'm ready. I'll fight next week, this week, two days. I don't care. Thank you.